Bobby, can you hear us? All right, Bobby, we'll come back to you. I'm going to go to James Cratch, NJ.com. Hey, no, I'll just try to piggyback off Bobby. I guess, how is your ankle? And I guess we haven't spoken to you. What was the exact, I mean, what was that whole experience like for you? Obviously, there's a lot of controversy nationally and locally about what happened against Maryland. Yeah. Um, well, let's start with my ankle. Um, it's doing a lot better. Uh, we're making progress in the training room and um, hopefully going to be good to go for spring ball. And um, I'm feeling better every day. Um, but as far as the incident, I mean, it's unfortunately sometimes a part of the game and um, it's kind of one of those things. We're just going to leave it, leave it in the past, leave it last year. And we're going to continue to move forward. Um, my ankle's healing and I'm um, looking forward to spring ball. I'm going to go to Chris Eisman with Gannett. No, when you look back, I mean, how would you kind of evaluate the way that you played last season? And, and now that you guys do have spring practice, as you said, I mean, how how good is that going to be for all of you just to kind of be able to get to work early and, and have that time that you didn't have last year? Yeah, no. Um, last year, I thought um, my own play, I thought, was um, maybe a tight end consistent. I would like to be a lot more consistent as a quarterback. And um, Coach Gleason has been working with myself and all the other quarterbacks a lot on just being consistent and um, continuing to grow and never settle. Um, uh, we got a long ways to go, and we're all ready to make that climb and make that push. Um, we're really excited to get like a true spring ball, a true summer, um, kind of like we know what to expect. We've been through the COVID stuff before. Um, it's going to be a lot more consistent, a lot more clear, um, but we're really, really excited. I think that's going to do a lot for us as an offense, um, for myself personally, um, in taking those next steps now that we get a spring, a summer, and really a full, true, hopefully true fall camp. We're going to take our next question from Anthony Fusilli, Rutgers Radio Network. Hey, Noah, how you doing? I was just wondering, have you gotten used to being in Jersey and accustomed now with your teammate, teammates? I guess you were you know, all thrown together last year in a very difficult situation. So how has that grown, the chemistry? You no, know, it's been a lot of fun. Um, the relationships grew a lot through the year. Uh, I think relationships grow a lot anytime you go through some, uh, some tough situations, some adversity. Um, those relationships kind of get cemented. So... Um, I was grateful for the chance to be here and be a part of this team. And a lot of those relationships have grown through the season and um, through the off season. And now as we've picked up in winter conditioning, those relationships are continuing to grow and um, it's a lot of fun. And yeah, I am getting used to being in Jersey a little bit more each time or each month. And each time I get to go out and try really good Italian food, it's, it's been good. We're going to take our next question. We'll go back to Bobby Darren, 24 seven. No, uh, can you just talk about, you know, your leadership qualities? How much has that grown through the fall and having a chance to really be with these guys? Because you came in, you know, kind of quickly and jumped into it. But how much have you grown in, in that leadership role and how much have you assumed that position? Um, I, I mean, I've grown a lot. Coming in, it's kind of tough when you don't know everyone. Um, my, my job as a quarterback kind of um, carries a leadership role with it. And uh, I did the best that I could. Uh, but Coach Gleason and I both agree that um, – I'm going to continue to grow. Um, I'm going to push myself to be a better leader every day. Um, and I really believe that, like, like I said, those relationships growing uh, are really helping me. I know my guys. Um, I've built relationships. I know them off the field as well as on the field, which um, really helps you get to know them as a person. And then when you ask them or push them to do something, it comes from a place of a lot greater trust um, and a, really a place of love where you know you have the best in mind or you have the best intentions for each one of your teammates and they have the best intentions for me. We're going to go to Richie Schneider right, with rivals. Noah, kind of piggybacking off that question, you're the veteran of the quarterback group. There's a couple young guys in Cole Schneider and Evan Simon. Um, what's your advice to them, and uh, what kind of potential do those guys have? Those guys have a lot of potential. They're very good quarterbacks. Um, I'm really excited about their future, and um, it is weird. Like You kind of blink, and you're the old guy. Um, and I can remember being the young guy and uh, remember those first couple years being in college and, there's a lot of stuff that's getting thrown at you right away. Um, and the thing I would tell them is, like, you never want to lose the love for the game. Um, continue to study it, grow in it, but really enjoy each time you go out and play because it does start to starts to trickle away toward the end. You're like, wow, there's not a ton of time left. Um, but um, both of those guys have a ton of potential. Um, they're very talented, um, both in their own ways, and uh, they're continuing to grow. Like, even we have weekly meetings and stuff with the position groups and um, – their knowledge of the game has grown so much from last year. And that's a credit to coach, uh, coach Gleason and coach TJ uh, meeting with us and teaching us every week. So um, I'm excited about their futures. We'll take another question from James Crouch, NJ.com. 
No, we were talking to Sean Gleason, and he was talking about how there's always an adjustment for quarterback, but for everyone in a no huddle when you're running for the first time, you've been through this. How much of a difference do you think it's going to be in terms of comfort for the offense going into year two in the scheme? I think it'll be a lot more comfortable. Um, I think having a true spring ball, um, where we're going to get to practice 15 times together, hard, um, full practices in the spring um, that we did not get, that we were doing Zoom meetings for and trying to install an offense, it'll be hopefully night and day. Um, that's kind of our goal is like we want to be um, faster, bigger, uh, stronger. We want to be more consistent in um, reducing mental errors, reducing turnovers, all that stuff. So um, I think there's going to be a lot of ground made up this spring, and we're going to try to continue the momentum through the summer and into fall camp um, and continue to just kind of hopefully um, create that exponential growth each time we get a chance to work and play together uh, to be a better offense, to be a better team. We'll take our final question from Chris Eisman. Good night. No, uh, I just want to ask about having Bo Melton back. Obviously, he was a big weapon uh, for you last season. So how big is it to have him back? And just especially when it comes to kind of continuity and, and going into the next season with the offense. No, it's it's a it's a huge thing to get Bo back. Um, he's a big leader for us. Um, he's the leader of that wideout room, along with some of the other guys like uh, Shamid and uh, AC. But Bo's kind of like the heart and soul. I mean, he's a, he's New Jersey born. He's born and raised. He's he's got family ties to this university. Um uh, you could say he's like the heart and soul of the offense. And I think that's, uh, you can see that on the field, but we're really excited to have him back and we're going to, we're going to try to use him the best we can and get him, a, get in the ball, get him touches and hopefully he'll get us in the end zone. Awesome. Noah, thanks for, 